When you think about extinction, you may picture dinosaurs or dodos, but what if I told you that dozens of animal species have vanished from our planet forever, within just the last 100 years? Well, in today's video, we'll meet 13 animals that went extinct in the last century. Passenger pigeons used to blot out the American sky in enormous flocks. These birds could fly super fast at 60 miles per hour. After Europeans came to North America, they began hunting passenger pigeons for cheap meat, and their populations just didn't stand a chance. By the early 1900s, there was only one left, a pigeon named Martha living at the Cincinnati Zoo. Sadly, in 1914, Martha took her final breaths, making passenger pigeons the first species driven to full extinction by humans in the last century. The Javan tiger was one of two tiger subspecies native, only to the Indonesian island of Java. In the early days, these powerful cats were everywhere on the island, so much so that locals even saw them as pests. So, as Java became more developed in the 1800s, the tigers started losing their homes in the forests. And by the 1950s, an unbelievably low 20 Javan tigers remained. As farms and cities replaced the jungle, these big cats had nowhere to live. Even though conservationists tried to help in the 40s and 50s without enough protected land, it was too little, too late. Sadly, no one has seen a Javan tiger for sure since the early 1970s. The colorful golden toad was last seen alive in the cloud forests of Costa Rica in 1989. Scientists have their theories about what happened. Some blame climate change for making things too toasty, while others point to a particularly intense El Nino event that same year which dried out the entire forest. Either way, whatever conditions Mother Nature threw at them, the delicate golden toad just couldn't handle it. Despite extensive searches since, no one has spotted or heard a peep from these frosted amphibians, declaring them extinct. The round island burrowing boa only lived on tiny round island, located off the coast of Mauritius. It made its home by burrowing underneath the rich volcanic soil on the hilly parts of the island. Then, in the 1940s, invasive rabbits and goats that were brought to Round Island completely wiped out the plants everywhere. With no foliage left for shelter or food, the dense network of boa burrows collapsed. And the last boa was seen in 1975, proving how quickly an island species can be doomed when foreign animals are added to their delicate domain without care for consequences. The Zanzibar leopard was one of the rarest of big cats found only in the islands of Tanzania. Some locals considered these spotted predators to be witch pets, making them targets of dangerous myths and superstitions. And if that wasn't troubling enough for them, the government heinously encouraged people to hunt them down to complete extermination. So, inevitably, the Zanzibar leopard had vanished from the wild in the mid-20th century. Later, a brief conservation project in the 90s tried saving them, but it was already too late. Now, while their official status remains unclear, a glimmer of hope emerged in 2018 when grainy footage, potentially showing a Zanzibar leopard, surfaced. If that's real, we might hope these iconic predators are still out there. Remember Blue from the 2011 animated movie Rio? He was based on the beautiful Spix's macaw found only in Brazil. These gorgeous birds spent over a century clinging to existence, after German explorer von Spix first documented them in 1819. Sadly, by 2016, scientists confirmed the vivid blue parrots were totally gone from their native forests, and they were declared extinct in the wild three years later in 2019. Their fast fall was largely due to rampant trapping for the illegal pet trade throughout the 1900s. Added pressures from deforestation didn't help either. But there's a glimmer of hope, with organizations like the Abu Dhabi-based Spix World and Loro Park in Spain working around the clock to propagate these iconic macaws through scientific experiments. The quagga was a subspecies of zebra that somehow mixed horse genes in the back. These strange, half-striped creatures used to roam South Africa until vanishing in the late 1800s. For years, they were thought to be standalone animals, but we now know they hailed from plain zebra stock. With stripes from nose to ribs but a plain brown hind end, quaggas were truly one of a kind, whose widespread hunting delivered the final blow to the quagga population. Now, an ambitious project led by Revive and Restore aims to essentially re-evolve the quagga using genetic information buried in modern zebras. By selectively breeding for genes linked to partial stripe coloration, they've started unveiling quasi-quaggas before our very eyes. Maybe one day, the African plains will again be graced by the quirky gait of these inquisitive animals. The Yangtze River Dolphin, or Baiji, lived in China's major waterway for a jaw-dropping 20 million years. But in just a few short decades, this adorable dolphin was driven to extinction due to human impacts on their river home. In 2006, scientists embarked on a last-ditch search along over 2,000 miles of the Yangtze, equipped with sonar and underwater microphones, hoping for any sign of the rare porpoise. Sadly, they found nothing. Reports indicate the last confirmed sighting was back in 2002, with rampant overfishing emptying the river of food 
constant boat noise disturbing their sonar, and pollution poisoning the water, the Baiji population crashed for good. The species that endured millions of years was tragically declared functionally extinct, less than 50 years after the People's Republic of China was established in 1949. What a devastating loss. For centuries, feathery flocks of stunningly looking chickens named Heath Hen roamed New England's coasts in millions. But by the 1800s, these big, round chickens were down to living in tiny groups of hundreds, only in Martha's Vineyard. Then, wildfires scorched thickets they relied on, hunters scoped their shrinking bands, and habitat changes squeezed the last colony by the 1920s. Their leader, an old-timer known as Booming Ben, due to his deep calls, vanished in 1933, proclaiming the sad end of a once-prolific species. This weird wolf-dog hybrid known as the Tasmanian tiger just didn't look like any other Aussie animal. Their stripy fur coats and toothy grins earned them nicknames like Demon Dog or Vampire due to mysterious legends. But in reality, they were quite timid. By the 1930s, however, farming expansion introduced pests like dogs and dingoes, plus some unknown diseases had pushed them to the brink on their Tasmania home island. The last one, named Benjamin, died lonely in Hobart Zoo in 1936. Its mysterious extinction is a sad reminder of habitats forever changed by humankind. According to history books, the majestic Barbary Lion of North Africa met its end in 1922, when a French hunter gunned down the final wild one in Morocco. But dig a little deeper, and it turns out little populations of these gigantic lions may have held on elsewhere for decades after. Reports from Algeria tell of sightings into the 1950s in remote corners of the Atlas Mountains. While they're considered extinct in the wild now, some insist rare bloodlines still flow in zoos, for example. They're way bigger and fiery looking than the average lion, wouldn't you say? Roaming the grassy steppes along the ancient Silk Road were the Imperial Caspian Tigers. Originating over 10,000 years ago in China, these giants staked their turf by the Caspian Sea. But by the late 1800s, Russia's expansion pushed them out. In particular, the soldiers systematically eradicated each of those majestic cats that threatened new farmland, and the hunters killed them just for games before the last one was seen in 1970s Turkey. With their striped shields lost to taxidermy cases, scientists now desperately seek to revive what's been dormant. Although they're yet to go entirely extinct, the northern white rhino's inevitable fate is barely hanging on by a thread. After the tragic passing of Sudan, the final male in 2018, only two girls named Najin and Fatu are left. So, natural breeding is sadly no longer an option without any boys in their species. Poachers racing to cash in on the horn trade decimated the population for far too long. And as their savanna homes got converted to farmland, this beautiful subspecies was edged closer and closer to the abyss. But researchers aren't done yet. They're using cutting-edge lab techniques like harvesting eggs and sperm cells in a Hail Mary effort to save them from total extinction. It'll be a scientific miracle if we can bring back the northern white rhino before it's too late. So let us know in the comments which of these extinct animals you miss the most. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon for instant notifications so that you never miss a video from Factastic Trivia. Yeah.